Good morning Celtic fans, well that got your ears pricked up this morning, the missus is having a day off so let's see if we can get this to 300 thumbs up today, that's the target. So she also said to me if the numbers work better you might have me on a more permanent basis, but we'll see how that goes. So what about last night in Aberdeen 2, Celtic 3? I've got to agree with Tom Boyd during the game, Aberdeen in the first half looked done and dusted with no confidence whatsoever. I was glad that we no longer had Scott Brown, he looked a shadow of the player that he used to be in the first half. Half, but the skipper came out and he was the skipper that we all knew and loved when he was at Celtic. He was on fire the second half. Where did that come from? And let's face it, if Aberdeen played like that every game, there's no way they would be mid-table. You know, and they're only five points off the off the ten of the 10th position. It's a ridiculous place for a team like that to be. Anyway, Angie Postacoglu has reacted to Celtic's winning goal after some have claimed that the winner should have been chopped off. Yet nothing was said about Scott Brown holding a Celtic player back for the Sheepshaggers' first goal. In reaction to the goal, Celtic manager Posto Coglu admitted he did not have a clear view. Celtic manager went on to say to the press last night, I'm in the worst position in the world to comment on something like that. I am nowhere near it. This is very true, and I don't know why the managers always get asked these type of questions, but you know, he's, he's on level at the pitch. Anyway, he went on to say the linesman is in line with that. He is making the decision along with the referee. From my perspective, with those kind of things, you let the officials take care of it. I can't stand here from the middle of the ground and say what I thought of the incident. The goal was given. I thought it was a good goal from us. And the reaction from us being level to then going in front says it all for, for him. He went on to say that we went out there and didn't look to get in. We went to, into a shell in the second half. We were looking for a third goal and we got it. The fact is that Leo Labada did not interfere with the play and he was played on side by Aberdeen's Ross McCrory. Claims for offside will obviously continue for the next two days, two or three days, but let's face it, it's a non-story. It was a correct one where the, the match referee had a few poor decisions, but what can we say, that's just Scottish referees isn't it? on a weekly, weekly basis. Anyway, Celtic can never win a match without something or someone finding something to complain about, even if it's nothing significant, and tonight was no exception. Last night, should I say, was no exception. Stephen Glass... Steam glasses, our Dean side, did cause Celtic a few troubles in the second half, but let's face it, Celtic were too strong to drop the points, and Aberdeen actually came out and played more than what Rangers did against us. So back to Celtic, Chris Sutton has taken to Twitter, and <laughs> after Celtic narrowly beat Aberdeen 3-2, the win was massive for Celtic and keep the team at the top of the table. Hold on, because you'll love the bit of the video that's coming up. Celtic showed great character to find a winning goal, much like their last trip to the North East. Winning there isn't for everyone, as we know. Celtic, with a Brace from Jota and what about Matt O'Reilly? <laughs> he is some player. What a player we've found in Matt O'Reilly. You know, he's, he's just, I think he's brilliant. Anyway, we took away the three points and we head back down. With Celtic then heading into the Scottish Cup this weekend, Poster Coglu will look to rotate his team more before the European action in, Mel in midweek. Celtic returned to the lead action on the 20th of February, hosting Dundee without Lee Griffiths, who Celtic convinced, convincingly beat on their last visit. Anyway, talking about Glasgow, what about the Rangers fans? I tell you, Celtic fans spoil Rangers fans Wednesday for the second week in a row. Over in Glasgow, Rangers were taking on Hibs and winning. The scoreline was 2-2, came through from Aberdeen, and the cheer rang out through Ibrox Stadium before they got their cameras out and started singing, we shall not be moved, knowing that if Celtic dropped points, it would put them top of the league. At that point, Jota stands up and says, hold my pint, lads, steps up and shuts up the Rangers fans once again, and they still post their videos on social media of them singing, and then them going, really? quiet and on that note i hope you really enjoyed this morning celtic news update if you liked the video give it a massive thumbs up i'm aiming for 300 thumbs up today have a great day celtic fans and you never know it'll either be me or the missus did you hear that glass shattering that was rangers fans bottles crashed